War. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Say it again. My name is Fred Barish. My slogan is MAGFO. Make America great for once. I will now take questions. My name is Frank Barish and I believe in America. Uh, Assad is fighting ISIS and we're ISIS fighting both. Why are we not talking about that? Really squeeze them in Syria. Squeeze uh, them in Syria. She wants full on war. And Russia's there? Okay, we'll fight them too. This to, fucking uh, warmonger. Volunteer for the Neoconservative money, bullshit. Uh, foreign weapons. So we have to... I found Hillary headquarters. Let's see. Nice to meet you. Hi. So my name is Frank Barish, and I'm running for president as an independent candidate. And I'm looking for someone to, to debate from Hillary's campaign, because obviously she's not going to debate independent candidates uh, at her level, but like a surrogate that your office would provide to advocate her position, basically. Um, so I'm going to ask you to leave. This is private property, and so if you can leave our office, they don't have anyone to debate. 10 million people were displaced because of her policy against uh, the Syrian people or what she did in Libya or what her husband did to destroy the economy when he got rid of Glass-Steagall. You won't have anyone who can talk to me about that? No. All right. Thank you very Thank much. I <laughs> oh, love it. All right. So Hillary Clinton's afraid to debate me. Hillary Clinton's afraid to debate me. Can you believe that? Nuts. Oh well. Okay, I guess I'll have to uh, try to find someone who can defend her positions because nobody seems to be able to. All right, Hillary. Game on. Frank Bear. So gallantly streaming Spangled Banner. Yet Frank Barish about to leave the mainland. Coronado, here I come. My name is Frank Barish, and I believe in America. I believe in the American dream, and I believe in the American way. But America has lost her way, and everyone knows it. In innovation and technology, clean renewable energy, and small business. Then why do you support fracking? Jobs will come from small business. We clean also energy. This the the fracking woman. Fairer. One who spread it around the world. Raising the national minimum wage. Which you were against. Also guarantee the dream has become a nightmare, and it's time to wake up. The kind of plan that Donald has put forth would be trickle-down economics all yep. over again. His, fact, his plans for the billionaires, the folks, whether you version, believe his populist bullshit for, or not. Uh, the top percent of the people in this country than we've ever had. We elect Republicans, and things get worse. We elect Democrats, and things get worse. My name is Frank Barish, and I am independent. The only party I care about is my Inauguration Day party. That's right, folks. I'm running for president of these United States of America again. We owe twenty trillion dollars. We cannot do because it because of George Bush's war and tax cut. How you bring back specifically Mostly. bring back where we were eight years ago. We had the worst financial crisis, the Great Recession, the worst since the 1930s. That was set up by Bill that Clinton getting rid of Glass-Steagall. Because of tax policies that slashed taxes on the wealthy, failed to invest in the middle class, took their eyes off of Wall Street, and created a perfect storm. Off Wall Street. In fact, Obama Donald was prosecuted one of the no who one for the housing crisis. He said you won't back either. in 2006. Gee, I, I hope it does collapse because then I can go in and buy some and make some money. Well, it did collapse. That's called nine, business, buddy. Nine million. <laughs> called business, lady. Nine million people lost their Very jobs. Sad. Five million people lost their homes, and thirteen trillion dollars in family wealth was wiped out. Because now, your husband got rid of the banking regulations, which stopped that shit from happening for eighty years. So we're now on the precipice of having a potentially much better economy. Through the perilous fight. And for the American great board. So I'm not a president, so I can get back to it whenever I see a passage. You got my vote, brother. This 
tax plan is crazy. It's all for the billionaires, the just by the way. I think we can all agree the world would be a better place if America had elected me last time. Or the time before that. When I am president, we will grow tomatoes on that aircraft carrier. There will be no more war. Look forward to your tomatoes. Now I'm going to go to Coronado. Campaign a little bit. And then, then I will be president. Donald thinks that climate change is a hoax perpetrated by the Chinese. I think it's real. Uh, and I you spread it around the world. I do not say that. And I think I do yeah, he does say that. Shut up, Donald. this and deal with it, both at home and abroad. And here's what we can do. We can deploy a half a billion more solar panels. We can have enough clean energy to power every home. We can build a new modern electric grid. That's a lot of jobs. That's a lot of new economic Great. activity. So I've tried to be very specific. Too bad we had to do that fracking thing first and, and destroy do. the and whole I planet real quick. That and we're now going we're going to do get this. the economy really moving again. Building on the progress we've made over the last eight years, but never going back to what got us in trouble in the first place. Mr. Trump. Back to I am the only candidate who is both pro-choice and pro-life. I believe in every word of the Second Amendment, including those two words that are invisible to conservatives. Well regulated. Do what you're looking to do with 20 trillion in debt. The Obama administration. But he's going to make the debt worse. The time they've come in is over 230 years worth of debt, and he's topped it. He's doubled it in a course of almost because of the eight war years, and, a half and the tax cut that were put in place. So I will tell you this. And when you look at what much, you are proposing, it is, Lester, how as I said, He's trumped up dick, trickle down. He's trickle down did not work. Trickle it got did us not work. into the mess. I'm about to invade Coronado, yeah? Let's do this. The bombs bursting! And I gave proof through the night that our flag was still there! military in this town. It's just war, war, war. But not when I'm president. But we gotta get there. First we're gonna go to Coronado and uh, rub shoulders with trillionaires. I'm kidding. There's rich people though. And on my first day in office, I will end war! Woo! Turns out we've been doing most of it around the world. MAGFO! Make America great for one! You're going to see some very bad things happen because the Fed is not doing their job. The Fed and the Fed, or at the very least, audit the, the Fed. Clinton. Can we audit President the Trump, Fed, we're please? We're talking about the burden that Americans have to pay. Make America! <laughs> and that my friends that my friends that's how you magfo that's how you magfo folks all right get, catch a bus so i can catch a boat and then get home not that i have a home but i'm only homeless till you put me in the white house folks and i'll shut you off for now oh these questions let's ask the real questions 
Why did you support the war in Iraq? How did you not learn your lesson from that and then support the war in Libya? The illegal assassination of Muammar Gaddafi. Illegal. It's, I'm, I, I'm sorry if you think he was a bad guy, and a lot of people do. I don't judge people because I'm not a murderer. You brag about murdering a sitting head of state? But my bus, I gotta go, folks. I don't wanna miss my bus, because this is the last bus. I could go on about Hillary Clinton's neoconservative bullshit till the cows come home, but I got a bus to catch because I'm a homeless guy. This is me, folks. So I hope you enjoyed the debate. Uh, there'll be more, apparently. Love of Christ. I should be so lucky.